Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today on Chris and Sean do everything. We're gonna do a little work on uh, on Sean's '94 M Edition Miata. So we've had this for what a couple of years now? Three years now. Three years, right? <laughs> it was a really good car when we got it. We've replaced the top, and you can watch our other video on that. We did a really cool cat back exhaust system. Got a video on that. Uh, we had some minor body work done and had the car repainted. We and full interior. Full interior, forgot about that, right? Yeah. So this, this thing is sharp. But Sean, your uh, your M edition wheels are starting to look a little sketchy. Yeah, you know, they're kind of old, they're kind of thin, they're, not, they're kind of slow, they're all seasons. So today for this video, we got some new wheels and tires that we're going to put on, see how it looks. And what are those? We got Koenig countergrams. Ooh, and what size were they? They're 15 by 8. 15 by 8. Yeah. And what are these on here now? 14 by 6. Oh, wow. Are they going to fit? Hopefully. All right. <laughs> Let's find out. All right. Okay. On the right here, we have the old 14 by 6s that came uh, stock on the Miata. And on the left, we have our new 15 by 8 205.50 Koenig countergrams with a uh, Continental Extreme Contact Sports for the summer. As you can see, they're just a little bit bigger and just a little bit wider. So hopefully the car will handle better and have some more grip and feel better when driving. All right, so we got the first one on. And as we're putting these center caps on, we're just putting a little bit of blue Loctite on the threads as we put them in. Okay, so here we have the before, the stock tires. Take a closer look. You know, eh, there's a good, good gap between the tire wall and the fender, right? Same thing back there. <clears throat> now if we come around over here, we've got some meat now. So these are they're 15 by 8 plus 25s. The stocks are plus 45, so they're two inches wider and I think 10 millimeters of a lower offset, which means it'll come forward more. And that's why they stick out just a tiny little bit. <clears throat> and it's the same thing here on the rear. <clears throat> Fitment is looking very good. Nice. But we can also take a look. Compare the tire size in the rear. Very nice. All right, all four wheels are on, all four center caps are on, and that was pretty easy. I'm glad. Now I made sure to tighten in a cross pattern, so top, bottom, left, right, and yeah, the tires fit great. They look great, and uh, I guess we can go over a couple of things that. Um, I experienced while shopping for these. So I bought them on Fitment Industries, which was a great service. I really enjoyed shopping there. 10 out of 10, you should totally buy your wheels and tires there. Not sponsored or anything. <clears throat> they uh, let me know that I should get these lugs because your stock ones probably won't fit and I can definitely confirm that. They're definitely not the best Fitment with the stock lugs. <clears throat> now, one thing, that I was a bit curious on was hub centric rings. I'm pretty sure as long as you torque your wheels correctly in the right pattern and do everything right that you really don't need them. But I mean, if you can buy them and it's easy, it's like 10 bucks, so it's not too big a deal. <clears throat> but yeah, so these are 15 by eight plus 25s and they look pretty good. <clears throat> not bad at all. Oh. 
less road noise. Okay, it's a little bit after that test drive. It's a little bit windy too outside, but I wanted to give some final thoughts on the tires and the wheels. The ride was way smoother. It was, there's a lot less road noise too, and it obviously felt grippier. I've got about eight inches more of contact on the ground than I did with the stock wheels. It's a fair bit wider. Looks incredible. Really looks good. I'm really happy with these wheels. So if you like this video, leave a like, subscribe, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments.